Hello, Taurus. It is time for your mid-February to March reading of this current year. I am still open for personal readings if you want one. My email will be in the description below as well as like a PayPal if you want to make a donation because I normally don't charge anything anyway. So, but I will take your money for free. I really don't give a shit either way. And like, yee. So, we're going to get started with yours. Doot, doot, doot. Okay. Taurus, pick up for you. Seven of Wands Reverse. I was thinking, yeah, that's Seven of Wands. I was thinking of a different one. I don't know why. I think it was like a sword. The Hanged Man. Ooh, I like that. I still have yet to see all these cards. So, I'm very much impressed. Seven of Pentacles. I like that one too. Three of Wands, Prince of Cups, the Ace of Cups in the beginning theme is Four of Swords. Taking some time to meditate over things, yeah? Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. What an interesting spread. Hmm. I feel like some of you are worried about, well, for group one, as I will call it for right now, before I remember what I originally called you, player one. That was what it was. Group one sounds a little bit more appropriate, though. I like group one better. We'll go with group one, right? It feels like some of you were kind of worried about investing a little bit with the Seven of Pentacles. Like, you got the Seven of Wands right here in reverse, right? And now you got the Six of Wands here as well. What does that mean? Well, right now that means, like, you feel like you're on the defensive and losing, and now you kind of got people coming against you, and possibly even an enemy in your house, in your safe zone, right? With the Three of Wands, you're waiting for something to come to you. Or maybe you're waiting to see if something's going to come back to you after you put the motion out there with the energy. Ooh, this one was already flipped. And that might not happen with the world card. Reversed. Then we have the hanged man right here where someone is like at a crossroads. They feel like they need to surrender something and it might be these regrets that they haven't been able to get over yet. Right? Then down here in the challenges, like that is a want and wish, right? Somebody wants to be at this crossroads where I feel like they can get out of this feeling of like not being able to get over what it is that's bothering them so much, you know? Like, there is, this looks crooked as fuck. There we go, it's a little better. Um, maybe that's what you're afraid of with the investment, too. Like, somebody wants to get over these regrets. Somebody wants to get over all of this spilt cuppage. Like, they don't even notice that the other two cups are behind them. They don't notice the bridge where they can get over it. They don't notice the mall that's in the distance that is led by the bridge to get the fuck over it. That it, it is right in front of where those cups are. Just sitting there waiting to be picked up. Sitting there waiting to be drank. Sitting there waiting to be shared with somebody else. Right? This Prince or Knight of Cups right here, right? Who is making possibly a love offer, which possibly somebody is waiting for. That's what's going against you right now. Um, coming out of that mentality of that. Coming out of the mentality of wanting to give some emotional gesture to, or even better yet, coming out of the... Um, 
feeling of wanting to do that. Like, this has been a mental strain. Maybe that's a challenge for you is to try to get out of that. Hmm. I don't know. It almost seems like... Someone... Like, someone doesn't want to have the upper hand, and they feel like all hell is broken loose, and people are against them. Yeah, and the reason they're afraid to invest is because of some, it, like, it may be not the best person. Maybe it's a fucked up Libra, because that is Libra's card. Um, it could be bad karma, too. Like, maybe the, the, maybe the fear of investment is too much. They know nothing good will come from it, maybe? Then we have the Ace of Cups right here, which is the catalyst as well as the final result. Yes, the Empress, a new beginning, a new heartfelt beginning that might bring some fulfillment for somebody. But the Seven of Wands, once again, is uh, saying someone feels like they need to be a little bit more defensive in where they are. Like, someone does not feel like they have the upper hand, and they need a mental time out. There might have been some treachery. Seven of Swords popped up for a second. Yeah, someone's ready and raring to go out of the situation. Someone might be making a move to be a booty call. And someone might be hiding their true feelings with the High Priestess. This could be a Sagittarius Leo Aries right here. Someone who's just... Not really grounded when it comes to sticking around or understanding the concept of not running away from your problems, possibly, because that could be an issue, too. Oh, and I got two cards right here. Ooh, yeah. This right here was definitely a bondage situation, possibly Capricorn. But someone was bound in this a little bit, right? Like, toxic person, fruitful person, here's the devil keeping them together. You know, they can take those chains right off their neck and walk away any time. And there's a lot of hesitation with this, too, with this empress in this new beginning. So keep that in mind, group one. We'll move on to the second group now see how they're dealing with Taurus or if this is Taurus because I really don't like picking who is who honestly it makes me feel rude I don't like assuming things of people anyway let us see what group two is dealing with for Taurus's reading No ways. Okay. Strength, possibly a Leo. The Hierophant, that is you, Taurus, right there. Somebody wants you. Uh, Nine of Pentacles reversed in the fears and rejections. Five of Wands in the situation. The Devil reversed you. Someone's definitely being naughty in the obstacles and challenges. Two of Pentacles. And the final result and catalyst, and then Seven of Cups for the beginning theme. Options, wanting it all, getting it all if you so choose. No one says there's a limit on what options you can take anyway. Is my coffee still hot? It's like nine, probably not. It's been on for like four hours now. Definitely not. I will make a pot as soon as I'm done with you. Okay, so, player two. 
Right? You got strength. This could be a Leo. Right? Could not be, but there's a lot of um, control here. Someone is not sicking their lions on some din din, right? Someone feels like they are in control of themselves. Someone's pretty sure that they know how that their strengths. I'm stuttering so bad. Someone knows what they're capable of. Six of wands reverse popped up again for a second though. So someone might not feel completely victorious, but they're keeping that very much restrained. Yeah, and they are ready. Oh my god, just come here. And they are ready to just walk away. Eight of cups. They are ready to walk away. They are ready to leave. They are ready to be done with shit. Yeah, and the five of wands, you know, like, it's been building. Like, there's been fighting, there's an argument, there have been people um, arguing with each other even though they have the same goals. And this has been... I feel like this has been, like, someone who's been patiently waiting to see if they should just go ahead and harvest or if they should wait a little bit more to see if their product comes out the way they want it to. Right? Then we got the Hierophant up here. That's your card, Taurus. So someone could be wanting you in this second group right here. Ah! And there is that card. Yeah, they're not able to make a decision, possibly, about you. Or they don't know how to teach you something. Maybe they're wanting to teach you something, but they don't know how to approach you. Which I can completely understand, because when, like, because, like, I, my little sister's a Taurus, and when she gets upset, you know, she shuts down. She will not really try to engage emotionally, and when she does, she can be really mean about it. And it's just like, ugh. Like, we've gotten into it a couple times, and it's like, we get really mean with each other. Let's see. Two cards. We have... The High Priestess right here with the Devil. Someone is not being true about their feelings and are being really naughty. It could be you, whoever is in group two. Right? Because the Devil in reverse in this, in, um, the Starman deck is like, it, it, it's the person, not someone fucking with them, it's the person being a little naughty. It's like someone's having a hard time Keeping that in check behind the high priestess. Like, she sees all this, but it's like she's hiding away that part right now. Like, waiting to snatch someone up, right? Oh! The Knight of Pentacles right here. Someone feels like they aren't expressing themselves as much. And that's becoming a regret that they're not able to get over. That is a fear or a rejection. Like, someone's afraid that it, it, it putting themselves out there is going to be no, nothing but another regret, I feel like, almost. Then we have the two pinnacles right here, where the, where the catalyst, as well as the final result, is this decision. And it's a decision to make it happily ever after. Someone's finally weighing the options out. Like, they didn't want to before the Hierophant, but then they come over here and decide, no, I want to be happy. So there we go. There's a little bit of joy <laughs> in one of my readings. Oh, but... Someone feels like there's an apology about some sneaky behavior that needs to be um, brought up in order for them to engage. Like, this right here is what's causing the engagement of all of those options with the Seven of Cups. Like, someone's been looking. Someone has been looking, they might have been caught being looking at other options. Hmm. Interesting. We got someone still hesitating though. And someone over here just ready to take off, even though they're kind of hiding their intentions, right? Like, they want to take off, but they haven't yet. 
They're still sitting around waiting to see what to do with the Seven of Pentacles. Even though they want to leave with the Eight of Cups. That's what they're feeling like. They, they want to leave. They want to go. They just ain't. Like, they're gearing to go. But they ain't left yet. In fact, they're kind of keeping guard against it. For two. So, that is your reading for February to March. This current year. See y'all later. Bye-bye.